We're on High Street in Lancaster, outside the birthplace of art scholar and poet Lawrence Binion. In September 1914, the Times newspaper published his poem, For the Fallen, a poem which would arguably become one of the most famous pieces of war poetry in the English language. Some of the words of For the Fallen have been adopted by the Royal British Legion and are used in services of remembrance to commemorate fallen service men and women. And here is the poem, For the Fallen. With proud thanksgiving, a mother for her children, England mourns for her dead across the sea. Flesh of her flesh they were, spirit of her spirit, fallen in the cause of the free. Solemn the drums thrill, death august and royal, sing sorrow up into immortal spheres. There is music in the midst of desolation, and a glory that shines upon our tears. They went with songs to the battle, they were young, straight of limb, true of eye, steady and aglow. They were staunch to the end against odds uncounted. They fell with their faces to the foe. They shall grow not old, as we that are left grow old. Age shall not weary them, nor the years condemn. At the going down of the sun and in the morning, we will remember them. They mingle not with their laughing comrades again. They sit no more at familiar tables of home. They have no lot in our labour of the daytime. They sleep beyond England's foam. But where our desires are and our hopes profound, felt as a wellspring that is hidden from sight, to the innermost heart of their own land they are known, as the stars are known to the night, as the stars that shall be bright when we are dust, moving in marches upon the heavenly plain, as the stars that are starry in the time of our darkness, to the end, to the end, they remain.